you six letters in English explaining that the promise of God is for you, given to you. What Jesus has done for you becomes yours. God gives the promise and you receive this by faith. Christ was crucified for your sins, for you. He died and he was raised for your justification, for you. In Hebrew, we want to look at one letter, not six letters in English, but just one letter, the Hebrew letter Lamed. When the Hebrew letter Lamed is added to the front of a pronoun, personal pronoun like you, it could be a prepositional phrase like to you or for you. It's a Lamed of advantage or a Lamed of possession. Now we see this in a passage like Genesis 15 where the word of Yahweh comes to Abram in a vision. Now, every time in the Old Testament when God appears to the patriarchs of old, this is the second person of the Holy Trinity, the one who is the visible image of the invisible God, always pointing toward his work in the incarnation, the word becoming flesh and tabernacling amongst us. And so the word of Yahweh, the spokesman of the Holy Trinity, now speaks to Abram giving to him a promise, saying, Abraham, you need not fear. You, you must not be afraid because I am your shield. Now, this is where we have that little Hebrew letter, Lamed, like an L, attached to the personal pronoun you. I am a shield for you, for your benefit, so that Abraham, in the midst of this world that is falling apart, can be assured of God's favor because of this promise for him, the promise that is for you, for all humanity, that in Abraham, all the nations of the world would be blessed. But at this time, Abraham has no children. He has no sons. He has no seed. But Yahweh promises him by showing him the stars of the heaven and saying, so shall your sons be. Multiply. You will be fruitful, just like that original blessing in the garden to Adam and Eve prior to falling into sin where death came in. But it is at this point in Genesis 15 where Abraham hears this promise, the promise that was given to him, the promise that Yahweh would do great things for him. He believes in Yahweh, and this is reckoned to him as righteousness. He is justified through faith alone. Here, Abraham receives this word, this promise that was given for him. So Yahweh assures him and says, I am Yahweh who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans and I'm gonna give this land to you. Once again, we see that Lamed preposition added to the front of the personal pronoun you, to you, for you, for your benefit. You will have this land. It is in this land where the Christ child will be born for you in Bethlehem. It is in this land, the promised land, where the Christ will be crucified for you outside of Jerusalem. It is from this ground that the Christ will overcome death in the grave when he will triumph from the tomb for you. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.